Hey guys, today we are going to talk about something that happened and give you kind of a perspective of how other YouTubers really feel. I will be talking about Rudy, Tolarian, and the Mana Source. So Rudy went to GP Vegas and he was taking photos with people and people paid $5 to take a photo with him. Now, a lot of online e-celebrities were offended by this. They didn't do their research. They just became easily offended. I'll make a separate video about Tolarian and the Mana Source because it is very hypocritical what these people are saying. So the Rudy did not receive any money. Vintage Magic did not receive any money. The YouTubers did not receive any money. The 100% went to the photographer, I believe Edwin here. So people are misrepresenting what happened and they're doing so to disparage Rudy. And MTG Finance, as has been said many times, is not a big fan of his. Rudy's a different model. He's a different beast than Tolarian, than the Mana Source. He doesn't ask for donations. He has a Patreon just as big as theirs, except he provides something to his Patreons, which in this case is standard booster boxes. I'm not a big fan of buying standard booster boxes. I've said that many times, but his prices are competitive even when you compare it to where I buy cards from. That being said, you see a lot of people like Tolarian Community College I have never and would never do this, even at Vegas where there were more than a few moments where I felt overwhelmed and swarmed by people, I still consider it my job to ensure those fans who wanted to meet me and get pictures or stuff signed were able to do so and for free. So Tolarian is jumping in, he is diminishing the photographer's experience and their expertise and their time. And then he says, however, this is not the same situation as artists who should not be expected to work for free. Artists can and should require charges per signature. There is an artist here. It's the photographer, which is Daniel's friend. Am I a big fan of Daniel? No, I'm not. But he's right in here. And I can see that he's right. A photographer especially when they have a polar Polaroid, which is actually a physical entity. I can show you multiple posts where people have donated each month to the mana source and he has not sent them a signed card. He's responded to them to get that extra $10 a month, but he hasn't sent a signed card. Here, you get a picture, a physical picture. So it's so astounding to me that on one hand, Tolarian Community College is the holier than now. I'm not going to charge, but artists should charge. Uh, isn't this what just happened here? Like, how's this? The artist is getting all the money because a photographer is an artist. Maybe they don't shoot Magic the Gathering cosplay and they're not in your inner circle. But to belittle a photographer and not claim that a photographer is an artist. That's insane. That is very asinine and quite pathetic in my opinion. So wait till we get to the mana source, right? His logic is even more delusional where some people have donated to him, uh, what is it, seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000? And then he's going to take a whole, he just recovered and he's going to take an even harder stance against this $5 artist picture with Rudy. So, yeah, people kind of ganged up on Rudy and they didn't like what he was saying and they didn't like the $5. He didn't get any money. Vintage Magic didn't get any money. No one got any money. The, the, all the money was sent to an artist. If you support artists, that is exactly what you want. You want to give them an event that's kind of a fun location and give them the opportunity to make back their travel fee. Like what and now the guy who initially made this argument corbin is saying that oh pro magic players 
you know, that Rudy is not big enough to charge. So the first argument is he's not charging. So that's my first point. The second argument is if even if he wanted to charge, who are you to say that he can't? Like, who are you to say that he can't charge $5 for a photo? People charge t Tolarian charges for a signed card. The Mana Source signs, he charges for a signed card he doesn't send, but he'll email you to get that extra $10 a month donation. What are these other people selling, right? They're selling signed cards. So how is that different from, you know, a picture with Rudy? Like I'm, I'm very intrigued that people are being upset uh, that this is happening because if anything, the mana source in Tolarian Community College should be happy that this happened because now they can charge money too if people wanted to take a photo of them. If they don't, then they there's no money into it. So. Which is better for a patron to just give money aimlessly and not receive the quote signed card that they're paying for every month or after a few months or for a patron to meet Rudy, give him $5, take a picture with him, have a physical item they can take home and show their friends from a actual artist, a photographer is an artist. These people are insane. Like the Manosaurs and Tolarian Community College are insane. MTG Finance is insane. They have no logical con like <laughs> the Manosaurus thinks you're an idiot because he thinks that your vocabulary is not as good as his. Hello, like he's assuming everyone is uneducated and very backwards and that's not the case. Many people are way more educated than he is, and many people majored in engineering, hard science, maybe patent law. Maybe they passed a patent bar exam when they were 21. I know you guys don't like me to brag, but that's just the nature of the beast. So, um, you know, this is an inner circle, and they don't like Rudy very much. And they just keep saying these ridiculous, like every time it's something more and more crazy. And every time it's something they're complaining about this and that. Like, I don't have to like Jeremy from On Sleeve Media, but if he has a good point, it's a good point. Don't attack him. Just be, don't attack his point just because you don't like the guy. Uh, that's the same way I feel with Rudy. And Rudy's interesting. He's changing the game. It used to be, in MTG Finance, it's very scared of him. So it used to be that when MTG Finance, you would hide behind a paywall, or if you're Star City Games, Chaz, you would, your article would release, be released a month later. And what you would say is 95% of these pre-order cards will go down. And you would always be wrong all the blanking time. And yet people would keep paying you to be wrong. And now those places are much weaker than they used to be because information should be free that's what rudy's providing free information now is it always correct i don't always agree with it i think standard boxes are really bad but maybe you'd disagree with me at least he's honest and that's all i can ask of any youtuber it's very deceptive practice to uh say that hey i'm really offended that rudy so this is a second argument my first argument is rudy's not actually collecting any money Edwin said that, uh, Daniel from Vintage Magic said that, that all the money is going to an artist. But even if Rudy wanted to collect money, so this is um, a moot point, but I want to address this issue, why shouldn't he be able to? If you decide to fly to GP Vegas and Star City Con against the orders of your doctor, and you decide not to have any type of insurance, you don't expect people to judge you on that, right? When they shell out seventy to eighty thousand dollars to bail you out, and then you know you might even have to declare bankruptcy because maybe that's not enough money, right? And the U.S. government will now have to pay you, which then means they have to charge the U.S. taxpayers. So that's okay, 
So you're fine with that. You're fine with taking that money, but you get offended when an artist takes a photo of Rudy where Rudy doesn't receive any money. Gosh, you guys, like, I, I don't know. I don't know, right? Except I, I, I all, all I can say is some of these people need to work a real job. It's in my opinion that Manosaurus has never worked a real job. He went to college. Um, he studied something that is very hard to get a job in. Then he didn't go to the workforce. He just started making YouTube videos, and that's how he makes most of his money. And he does very well. He does. He makes hundreds of. He's probably made hundreds of thousands of dollars doing this. Um, and yes, I'm including the donation to his GoFundMe as part of that. Um, same with Tolarian. Tolarian worked as a community college professor, but he would pick up classes. He wasn't tenured. I'm here to wake you guys up. Life is really hard, kids. And you work hard. You have to work bloody hard to make money. It's not as easy as the mana source just asking for money. It's not as easy as to learn community college asking for money. At least in this case, you have a professional photographer. You have a physical item. I have many screenshots of people talking to the mana source and saying, hey, where's my signed card? I'm a big fan of yours. And him saying, oh, well, I'll give you something extra. And the card never... It never came. So at least someone gets a professional to take a photo uh, that traveled there. They had a good experience. They got a physical item of $5, not $10. And why, even if Rudy took money from this and made a slight profit, why should that offend you guys? Because you're taking a buttload of money for nothing. Anyway, bye.